Welcome to Excel Basic Functions. Employers are all looking for people proficient with manipulating data, with using Excel in particular, and being able to turn those numbers into the story that they can use to make sound business decisions. So this is going to be an introduction to functions. If you're new to Excel, this is a great place to start. If you've used Excel for a long time, it's a nice little refresher for this one. So don't skip this lesson because it's actually worth your time. In this lesson, you'll be able to download this Excel spreadsheet and work right along with me or come back and review. The first page of the spreadsheet is about tips about functions and formulas, uh, how to create them, how to view them in the function bar, um, how to edit them, and then next video we'll get into relative and absolute references. So here's our starting data, and we have a very small clinic, uh, and we have four service providers, and we see how many patients they saw last year and this year, but next year we're going to be poised for growth. So in the next video, we're going to look at next year's numbers. But let's just start with the basics, okay? So we want the total, the average, and the count for each year. So it's very simple. We click in the cell where we want the total to be. So I'm clicking in B9, okay? And we come to the Home Ribbon Editing Group and click the Sigma to have an auto sum. And you see it stops at the 105, okay? So we want to override this because we want to make sure that it's all the way up here. So I'm just going to click and drag to include the values that I want to use. And I hit enter. So now you've learned something about formulas and functions that you may not have known. If it hits an empty cell, it stops. And that can be a really bad thing if you don't realize that it's not including all of your values. So now I'm in B9. Uh, B9. And if I look up in the function bar, I can see the formula. But here's the value that's returned, 285. And I want to take this formula, and I want to have it right here for this year. And the easiest way to do that is just use the autofill icon, and you can just drag it right over. And yes, I certainly could have just gone to auto sum and just added it up again. Uh, here's something you may not realize is that if you have two values selected, if you look all the way down in your um, little frame, you'll see the sum is there of 637 total patients. Or, you know, this is probably not unique patients, it's probably actual visits. Okay, you can see a count and you can see an average. But what if we want to show that average and the count right here on the page? So I'm going to click on B10. And from the auto sum drop down, I'm going to choose average. So now Excel says, oh, I see a number right here. Is this what you would like me to average? And you might say, yes, that's what I want you to average. But in reality, it's not. In reality, you wanted to average the sum of these four values, and then average would divide by the number of values, four. So that's why that's very different. If you do the average of 285, it's 285 divided by one value, and you'll get 285. So we're going to just drag this over to have the average next door. And we see 88 is the average here. And then we'll go to count. And we will count numbers. And you say, what does count have to do with things? Well, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so we we'll hit enter for the count, and we'll bring the count over. So you'll see here there are three values, and here there's four. And I've seen people do this mistake more than once, and I it, I just don't want you to do it. Okay? So um, zero is a number. Zero is a number. So last year, Mrs. Dapper was not part of our clinic, so she had no patients. Some people hate to see blanks, and they'll say, well, she wasn't with us, so I'm going to type a zero. So I want you to take a look at these values down here, how they change when we put the number zero in for last year. So you don't really see a difference with the sum, of course, but your average is now divided by four values, and your count is now four. 
So if you do want to use a zero, make sure that you do want to include it in your calculations. Otherwise, a blank is perfectly acceptable. And that's the really jump start for basic functions. I am going to show you a little bonus here. I'm just going to add a couple rows and move this out of the way. Uh, if I were to highlight this whole area and hit the auto sum, look at that. It will add up both in the rows and the columns. So if that's all you need to do is a simple auto sum, either for values or for rows, you can do it that way. If you didn't want it for the rows, you didn't have to. You could just highlight this section here and it would add underneath. So, um, thanks for watching.